If you've ever been to Black Dog Salvage here in Roanoke, I'm sure you've seen this pup, Sally, the salvage dog walking around the store, maybe sleeping on the cool concrete floor. Sadly, Sally has passed away. The canine was trained by Black Dog Salvage's namesake, Molly, and she welcomed customers to Black Dog for 14 years, rarely missing a day of work. Turn now to your forecast. Another beautiful day. Plenty of sunshine for what you can expect tonight. Here's Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanoi. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, hi there, John. We're looking at skies tonight partly cloudy. We look dry with some patchy fog developing as well. Here's a look at the satellite and radar composite, and you'll notice that we do have some rain and thunder showers from Buffalo, New York, south into Jackson, Mississippi. That's our next disturbance. It is going to be moving to the east, and as it does, it will be a player in our weather here for the next couple of days. Hit or miss thunder showers become a little more likely for us by tomorrow afternoon. It's 81 in Hot Springs, 85 in Withville. It's 88 in Lynchburg and 90 in South Boston. Your Friday plan are showing temperatures starting out around 71, topping out near 90 in the afternoon. Notice in the morning we're dry, but in the afternoon, that chance for some scattered thunder showers will increase, especially along and west of the parkway. Now, storm impacts for us Friday into Saturday. We're going to and look at the chance for maybe a few storms to pack a little bit of a punch with the chance for some damaging wind. I think the flooding potential will increase a little bit Friday, even more as we head into Saturday. Large hail power outages, we're going to put that on the lower end of things and a tornado. I don't expect that to happen here over the next 48 hours, but nevertheless, a few storms over the next couple of days could pack a punch, especially during the heating of the day. Lindsay. Well, there's a lot of trash talk going on in Christiansburg. The town is considering changes to the way it handles residential garbage pickups. 10 News reporter Lesla Gooden is in studio to tell us how this could affect homeowners. Lesla? Yes, I sat down with Christiansburg town leaders today. The mayor and the town manager tell me that transferring trash pickup from the town to private ownership has been on the radar for some time. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Christiansburg's town council hopes that's the case when it comes to residential garbage service. This week they voted to receive bids from private companies for the town's trash services, which may save money. So could residents possibly see like an increase of what they would have to pay? We would certainly hope not, and if that's the case, we might not pursue it. So we're actually hoping to do it with cost with the idea in mind. Hopefully there's a cost savings. Currently, the town has $1.7 million in the budget for solid waste for fiscal year 2018-2019. Hopefully entertain and receive offers for the service. We'll see what type of services are available at what cost and then evaluate make hopefully make a decision. Mayor Mike Barber says even with the proposed change, there would need to be some form of compensation for the purchasing of their trash vehicles, but no other cutbacks. And I'll emphasize if it ever happens, I would see those people staying into the uh, Public Works Department. Town officials also say the request for bids will be listed for 30 to 45 days, and they still remain in the early stages with many unanswered questions. Or if whomever gets it, if they are going to handle the billing, is that something that we reduce the, you know, whatever the figure is currently, it's, or the garbage rates, it's currently $22 a month. Do we reduce that and they bill directly? I don't know. Both town leaders tell me if they do decide to make any changes, they ensure the public will have a say. In studio, Luzzle Good and 10 News working for you. If you dream of opening your own business, Danville's River District Association wants you to maybe make that a reality. A new program starting this fall is available to hopeful entrepreneurs. 10 News reporter Coulter Anstead tells us how it might work. Dream Launch 2019 is the Danville River District Association's latest effort to help continue the growth of downtown Danville. It's a very interesting program. It will start with a boot camp. Anyone can audit the boot camp, however, the boot camp will be required if you would like to move forward to be considered for entrepreneurship. River District Association Executive Director Diana Schwartz says the eight week boot camp will teach the basics of running a business. Anyone who completes the camp can pitch their business idea to the association for a chance to win part of the more than $100,000 in cash and incentives the association has available to help businesses get started. If you're going to pitch, you need to understand that we're looking for brick and mortar type businesses. Um, there are certain businesses that we feel would be a better fit in the River District and we'll be talking about that throughout the course of the class. However, we don't want to specifically say we want these five things. The goal is to have five businesses open up next summer. Dream Launch 2019 begins in October. In Danville, Coulter Anstat, 10 News, working for you. 
Students in the New River Valley outperform students in countries around the world in PISA tests. The program for international student assessment is a worldwide test in math, reading and science that's designed to determine how prepared students are to compete uh, to compete and collaborate in a global economy. Students in Montgomery County ranked higher than students in Singapore, Hong Kong, Canada, Finland and Germany. Meanwhile, in Highland County, thanks to an anonymous donor, all students can receive free breakfast this school year. However, student school leaders are still encouraging families to apply for the free or reduced federal lunch program. It was a hot and humid day with a lot of sunshine out there, but rain is on the way when you could see storms in your backyard. That's coming up after the break. But first, here's a look at how stocks of local interest finish the day on Wall Street. Closed captioning sponsored by Jefferson Surgical Clinic, the surgeons you choose. Find your new running buddy and playmate. Join 10 News and help us clear the shelters. It's a one-day adoption event August 18th at these participating shelters. And seriously, how can you say no to that face? You love to sit, you love to sleep, and you love to save money. We've combined all three into one amazing event. It's Grand's Sit, Sleep, and Save. Save up to 65% store-wide, from sofas to mattresses. Going on now at Grand. Attention Southern Virginia. Johnson Family Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram recently opened at Floyd with a challenge issued to bring volume selling to Southern Virginia. Over 100 new Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, and Rams have been shipped in to set sales pace to earn allocations. These vehicles must be sold. In order to increase used vehicle inventory, unprecedented values will be put on all trades. Your trade may never be worth more. Take advantage of the savings at Johnson Family Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Floyd. And of course, we promise you're going to like it here. David James Homes is more than a builder of quality, affordable homes. And David James Homes offers a vast variety of home design choices. From simple ranches and bungalows to complex, multi-level estate homes. Yet even when working with a David James design, you still have a wide array of choices and options. We pride ourselves in providing our clients with the utmost customer service. When we combine our designs and our choices, it's obvious why we can say, we build every home like it's my home. My home. My home. The Harvester Performance Center presents a spectacular lineup of shows. Highlights include Buddy Guy, September 7th. Keb Moe, September 15th. Lori Morgan, September 21st. And Blue Oyster Cult, September 29th. For the complete schedule, click harvester-music.com or call 540-GUITARS. It's all at the Harvester Performance Center, downtown Rocky Mount. You love to sleep, and you love to save money. So you're going to love Grand's Sit, Sleep, and Save event. Get two years, no interest, and save on mattresses for as low as $99 each. If you can sleep on it, you can save on it at Grand right now. We're gathering reaction and tributes to Aretha Franklin and a complete look back at her life in music tonight, plus relief on the way from the soaring prices of those EpiPens so many depend on for life-threatening allergic reactions on NBC Nightly News. You are looking at a live picture from our poor mountain sky cam. We're seeing sunshine out there, but a lot of the sun is of the hazy sort. There's not a ton of blue skies out there. Uh, overall, we are looking at the hazy sun continuing to be with us here for the next couple of days, along with an increased chance for some thunder showers. Let's head on over and show you the radar and you'll notice that we are seeing some thunder showers towards West Virginia. Areas say just to the west of Greenbrier and Pocahontas counties in West Virginia seeing a thunder shower. There's actually maybe one thunder shower near Snowshoe that could clip perhaps Highland County near say Monterey here over the next uh, 20 to 30 minutes or so. But uh, the vast majority of us are dry and it looks like tonight is going to be just a night where we're partly cloudy with some fog developing. Now for tomorrow we're hazy, hot and humid 90 degrees for a high. So it's still again going to be pretty hot. Scattered thunder showers will develop, however, especially again after about one two o'clock in the afternoon for Saturday. 
Saturday, we're looking at highs in the middle 80s. We're not as hot, but there's still going to be that chance for some more passing showers and thunderstorms. Now, future tracker showing that at 11 o'clock tonight, we are dry, okay? By tomorrow, it looks like we'll start out with a few clouds, mainly north of the Roanoke Valley, but the best chance to see sunshine tomorrow, I think, will be in the morning hours in the afternoon. We're going to start to cloud things up a little bit, and after about 2 o'clock, we're going to start to see some pop-up thunder showers. I think scattered thunder showers may be around around dinner time, and then as soon as the sun goes down, the air will destabilize, or I should say stabilize, and then by around 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow evening, we're going to see any rain threat pretty much diminish. On Saturday, looks like we'll start out the day dry, but look what happens by Saturday afternoon. We start to see more showers and thunderstorms developing. So moral of the story here is on Friday and also on Saturday, not washouts, but as you head into the afternoon and as you head into the evening, the chance for rain and thunderstorms will increase. Let's take a look at the available moisture, and it looks like, again, we're going to have quite a bit of it readily accessible in our atmosphere tomorrow. Leads me to believe that any storm that does pop tomorrow could be a gully washer. Even as we head into Saturday, look at Saturday afternoon. We're looking at this yellow and orange color, meaning that there's going to be a lot of moisture just ready to dump from the sky, an indicator that the threat for heavy rain is absolutely there for us again on Saturday. The heavy rain threat may diminish a little bit as we head into Sunday. So right now, Sunday doesn't look quite as wet as Saturday could potentially be. Next week's pattern looks to be a wet one for us on Monday and Tuesday. It looks like the highest severe weather threat Monday and Tuesday will probably be in areas to our north. But the series of fronts are going to continue to impact us here Monday into Tuesday, maybe even into Wednesday of next week. By Thursday, may get a little bit of a pattern change as we turn a little less humid at that point. It's 79 in Hot Springs, 88 Roanoke also in Lynchburg, 89 South Boston. It's 85 in beautiful Withville. Dew points right now are in the upper 60s to near 70. Dew points to the west are in the low to mid 70s. So we are looking at uh, those dew points really cranking up here over the course of the next 24 to 48 hours. It was humid today. It's actually going to turn more humid for us here over the course of the next couple of days as those dew points are likely going to be anywhere between around 67 and 73 degrees. So again, we are looking at the muggies here. They're not really going to go anywhere until perhaps mid to late next week. The humidity is going to be very, very stubborn here for the next five to six days. So for tonight, we're muggy under partly cloudy skies. Overnight lows in Roanoke, 71, 69 Lynchburg, 68 NRV, 70 South Side, and 68 in the Highlands. Highs tomorrow will likely top out in in the 80s and lower 90s. Highlands may stay in the 70s. Hot and humid tomorrow. Those pop up thunder showers developing, especially again after about 1 2 o'clock. Extended forecast we're in the middle 80s this weekend with more scattered showers and thunderstorms again. Saturday might be a little bit wetter than Sunday. Monday, hit or miss thunder showers. Chance for rain goes back up again Tuesday. Lingering thunder showers Wednesday and by Thursday we'll dry things out and see more sunshine. Lindsay. All right, thank you, Jeff. We're working to help keep your family safe on the road. After the break, we'll show you the crash test results from three new minivans. Storm Team 10 weather brought to you by Hunting Hills Family Dentistry. Let Mountjoy RV Sales and Service get you ready to explore the outdoors. We have a wide selection of campers and RVs to fit any and all of your recreational needs. Our personalized approach to sales will make sure you get the right RV at the right price. Right now, payments start as low as $120 a month. Mountjoy RV, family owned and operated, located in Buchanan, Virginia, just a few miles off I-81. Visit us online at mountjoyrv.com. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video that the viewers can watch while you and I talk. And you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging. And all he uses is a small amount, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. And I did this to my father. We were at home and we were screaming four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> These lines bother me. 
They really do. And this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It feels great. Looks even better. Hi, guys. My name is Sandy Marinese. I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And one of the number one question that I always get in my chair is, can you make me look younger? So we had a few people that we applied it to. And some of them, at first, I was like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work. And I was so impressed how fast and how well it really worked. Now I could really say to people, yes, I can make you look younger. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. So it targets all those problem areas. So this would be a daily thing or just when you want to like get rid of the bags? And yeah, you would it absolutely could be a daily thing. You have high school reunions, you have events you want to go to, you want to look years younger, this is it. Plexiderm has a special offer for you. Right now, you can get Plexiderm for up to 50% off, plus get free shipping. Order yours at Plexiderm.com or call the number on your screen. Another round of crash tests is offering some mixed results for minivan makers. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety tested three 2018-19 minivans, the Honda Odyssey, Chrysler Pacifica, and the Toyota Sienna. They focused on passenger side front crash tests similar to real world scenarios. In these small overlap tests, the Sienna received a marginal rating overall and a poor rating for structure. The Pacifica earned a marginal rating for structure with an acceptable rating overall for passenger side protection. The Odyssey fared best, scoring acceptable on structure and good overall. From a cultural experience in Elmwood Park to an Old Town concert in Montgomery County, there's a number of things to do this weekend and we'll tell you all about them next in Round Town. A bathroom isn't just a place to get ready for the day. It's a place to relax or take care of someone you love. Now, make it your favorite room with Rebath, America's most experienced remodel specialist. Rebath does complete remodels, tub and shower updates, even aging and accessibility solutions to the highest quality standards. Call Rebath for a free in-home design consultation today. Call 540-259-8541 and save $750 on your complete bathroom remodel. It's that time of year again. Time to get that camper out, get on the road, and enjoy some camping. And at Johnson Family RV, we've got the inventory, we've got the spring deals, and we can make it happen. With deals like a 2018 Summerlin Mini, starting at $99 a month. Or a Keystone Bullet, starting only $119 a month. Make your vacation a great memory, starting at Johnson Family RV. I'm Jeff Johnson, and I promise you're going to like it here. Do you have a need for speed? Feed it with Chantel High Speed Internet. Right now, during our big 50 for 50 blowout, you'll get fast 50 meg internet for only 50 bucks per month for 12 months. With 50 megs, you'll do a lot more online in a lot less time. Plus, if you bundle with Chantel TV or phone, installation is free. Call 1 800 Chantel now to get 50 meg internet for just $50. But hurry, our 50 for 50 blowout ends September 30th. So you really do have a need for speed. Your Papa John's believes in better. You won't find MSG, BHA, BHT, or partially hydrogenated oil in our pizza. We make it better because you deserve better. Your Papa John's, proudly serving Central and Southwest Virginia since 1992. Hot water heater done? Don't be without hot water. Call Southern Trust Home Services. At Southern Trust, we get the hot water flowing that day with our same-day replacements on hot water heaters. Call today. Get into a Southern state of mind. The Woods family has a long history here. I've seen times change over the years, but the Woods family values have stayed the same. When I got my first car, my dad told me, son, if you need anything, you go to Woods. For decades, they've done it the right way. I'm taking my father's advice and passing it on to you. If you need anything, you go to Woods. Woods Service Center, since 1957 and for generations to come. We are working for you to help you find something fun to do this weekend. 10 News anchor Patrick McKee gives us a look at what's going on around town. The Festival of India returns to Roanoke's Elmwood Park. Enjoy the food, culture, live performances, and more. It's Saturday from 11 to 5. Admission is free. Head to the Salem VA Medical Center for the annual Star City Cruisers Car, Truck, and Cycle Show. In addition to the new and classic cars, there will be breakfast and lunch. It's Saturday from 9 to 3. 
Head to Rocky Mount for the Warren Street Festival. It's a celebration of African American history in Franklin County. It includes live music, food, arts and crafts, a car show, parade, and a whole lot more. Activities start at 5 Friday night and at 10 Saturday morning. Sweetbriar College is home to the Amherst County Fair. Enjoy the agriculture competitions, rides, food vendors, fireworks, and more. It's tonight through Sunday. Admission is free. The Old Town Concert Series continues in Shawsville. Enjoy music by the Tams. In addition to the entertainment, there's food, craft beer, and kids activities. It's tonight from 5 to 9 at the Old Shawsville Middle School. Admission is $5. With a look at what's happening around town this week, I'm Patrick McKee, 10 News, working for you. When saving a dog's life turns into saving a human life. After the break, we'll introduce you to one man who's turned his life around and made it his mission to rescue unrescuable dogs. It's the end of summer and time for the back to school sales event on the Sheeler Motor Mile at Motor Mile Mitsubishi. Buy a new 2018 Outlander Sport with backup camera, all wheel control and more. Back to school sales priced at $19,642. Plus all new Mitsubishi like the 2018 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross come with a 10 year 100,000 mile powertrain limited warranty. And Sheeler gives you big cash for your trade. And because we own the finance company, Sheeler says yes to credit approval. The back to school sales event all month long on the Sheeler Motor Mile at Motor Mile Mitsubishi. It's so worth the drive. How is affordable dentures so much less expensive? It's all they do, so they're amazing. But who has time for all that? Everybody. They made these while we waited. <laughs> Took one day. They'll treat me okay? Like family. I can't believe I'm doing this. We should have done it years ago. For affordable dentures and extractions, call 1-800-DENTURE today. One call and one day can change your tomorrow. Hey, Marcus here to tell you that Gander Outdoors is having its biggest outdoor and RV super show of the year. Warehouse pricing on fishing, boating, hunting, shooting sports, biking, hiking, camping, plus RVs starting as low as $119 a month. With millions in inventory, all at warehouse pricing, we won't be undersold, and I guarantee it. Look for the giant American flag and celebrate our freedom and great savings at Gander Outdoors in Roanoke. Clear the Shelters is just around the corner. That's an annual event to help shelter pets find forever homes. And our next story is a heartwarming one, showing that a decision to adopt might be saving more than the animal. NBC's Liz McLaughlin explains. It's been a heck of a long journey. From halfway across the world. Naji comes from Saudi Arabia. He is a paralyzed desert dog. A dog in a hopeless situation is now in recovery. He's here, he's safe and his new life begins now. At Marley's Mutts in Kern County, California. We rescue the unrescuable. Dogs with heartbreaking stories are given a second chance. Dogs that are burned, shot, stabbed, hung, you know, anything you can imagine we've rescued. Zach Scow is the man behind the mission. And you really use rescue dogs to help rescue people. He himself had to be saved. I was destitute and completely hopeless. That's my girl. Rescue dogs helped to pull him up from rock bottom in 2008 when he was suicidal and struggling with addiction. I had been diagnosed with end stage liver disease, given less than 90 days to live without a transplant. Zach says his dogs became his lifeline and gave him a new purpose. I had felt like a throwaway human being for a very long time, and I know these dogs feel like, like throwaways, and so I really wanted to breathe new life into them as new life had been breathed into me. Now, the reach for Marley's Mutts is international, and corporate support from Jockey has helped boost his rescue effort. Each of these dogs was rescued from a high-kill shelter. Every year, an estimated 3 million adoptable animals are euthanized. Zach hopes more people will consider adopting pets instead of buying them. At the end of the day, you've saved a life. You have saved another animal's life. That dog wouldn't be around if it weren't for you. And that kind of bond, that kind of relationship is very powerful, very impactful. 
a rescue that can go both ways. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News. Now, back here at home, we're teaming up with a number of local shelters to help give an animal their forever home. Join us, uh, join 10 News this Saturday, August 18th, and help us clear the shelters. For more information on the event and how you can help, maybe find a good deal on a dog or a cat, just check out the event tab on our Facebook page. Hazy, hot, humid for us today. There were a few little showers towards Highland, Roanoke, and Franklin counties, but the majority of the rain today stayed west of us. But it's heading closer to us. Better chances arrive as we head into tomorrow. It's 79 Hot Springs, but 92 Smith Mile Lake, 90 Martinsville, 87 in beautiful Blacksburg. Forecast first, showing temperatures tonight falling in the low to mid 70s. High temperatures tomorrow topping out in the upper 80s to near 90. We start off tomorrow dry with some sun. In the afternoon, more clouds, better chances for some scattered thunder showers. All you want to know about the weekend forecast just 15 minutes away. 10 News at 6 starts right now. Live from WSLS, this is 10 News at 6, working for you. Now at 6, a baby sister who was never given a fighting chance. Calling and crying, sobbing how she was dead and dead. He found her dead. What family members are now revealing about the child's death and why they say it could have been prevented. Plus, new concerns for one of the men charged in the brutal gang-related murder of a Lynchburg teen. I believe the citizens of Bedford need the opportunity to hear this case. Why attorneys don't think he'll receive a fair trial in Central Virginia. And Red Oak City leaders focus on trauma for the new school year. There's somebody supporting them, knowing that there's somebody that cares, that is, um, is asking that question, what has happened to you? how some childhood experiences can impact future behavior. But first, a family fighting for justice after they say their four-month-old sister's death could have been prevented. As we've reported, an investigation found that a child protective supervisor in Rockbridge County shredded child abuse reports and actively ignored complaints of neglect and abuse. 10 News reporter Rachel Lucas spoke with the family suing on behalf of Charlie Ford, who was tragically one of those cases. She joins us now in studio. Rachel. Baby Charlie's half brother and sister told me today that she would still be alive if Rockbridge area social services would have looked into her case. They say they knew that their sister was born with serious health complications, but had no idea that she was born a drug addict. It wasn't until a year after her death they discovered the truth and baby Charlie should have never have been sent home with her mother after she was born. This is baby Charlie's first and only Easter. A little girl her siblings say was never given a chance, overlooked by the system that was supposed to protect her. Her mother was, was abusing drugs while she was pregnant with the baby. They should have never let her go home, considering she had brain damage, she was born addicted. Charlie was born with serious health complications, having seizures every day and possibly cerebral palsy. But what half siblings Ashley Ford and brother Corey McDonough didn't know is that their sister was born addicted. But the Department of Social Services did. And Charlie was allowed to live with her parents in a home that the department classified as high risk. Workers noted at the time that the home was dirty and drug abuse was present. An internal review by the Regional Office of Social Services noted that the Child Protective Services supervisor refused to assign investigator to Charlie's case. I mean, it's been really hard because, you know, here we were led to believe for a year that this was all just this big tragedy and all of a sudden we're like finding out it could have been prevented. Both siblings are parents of their own kids now and although they live out of state, said they would have provided Charlie a home if they only would have known. Just sad, you know, how could, how can they do that? I just don't know how. Anybody can leave kids in that kind of environment when they're the ones that are supposed to be protecting. The infant's parents, 42-year-old Charles Ford and 29-year-old Diana Hazelwood, are charged with felony murder and Charlie's death. But her siblings say that's not enough. They want the agency they say overlooked their little sister held accountable for the death of baby Charlie. 
Charlie's parents, along with the local regional and state social services department, the former director who shredded child abuse and neglect documents, and the Rockbridge County Board of Supervisors are all named in a $17 million wrongful death lawsuit. The family says they hope to use the money to begin a foundation for drug addicted children in Charlie's name. In studio, I'm Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you. The attorney for an alleged MS-13 gang member charged with killing a Lynchburg teen says his client cannot get a fair trial in Bedford County. They claim media coverage of the high-profile killing would influence potential jurors. 21-year-old Kevin Sotobania is one of five men charged with capital murder in the 2017 death of Raymond Wood. The filing also says a local trial would lack due process because of the national dialogue surrounding immigration. Bedford County Commonwealth's Attorney Wes Nant says he's confident a jury can be seated. What I have to do is balance the public's interest while also guaranteeing each one of these individuals a fair trial. I play a role in that as a prosecutor as well. Uh, I'm confident in the charges, I'm confident in the evidence that we have, but I also have to make sure these individuals receive fair trials wherever that trial takes place. Attorney Anthony Anderson Roanoke is representing Soto Bonilla. We reached out to him for a comment so far. He hasn't returned our calls. Learning to identify children in trouble. A new program hopes to give Roanoke City teachers and school staff a critical tool to help students. 10 News reporter Patricia Martellotti spoke with the groups educating the educators on becoming trauma informed. Roanoke City school employees are going back to class. The new school year kicks off Tuesday, but they're also learning a new lesson, how to identify students who may have lived through traumatic experiences and need help. Instead of asking um, a kid what is wrong with you, ask them what has happened to you. More than likely something is going on at home that nobody knows about. Melanie Morris of the Roanoke Prevention Alliance is working to build partnerships with other agencies to help identify trauma in a child. Everything from domestic violence to child abuse. It could be substance abuse, it could be having an incarcerated parent. All factors that can go into a child's behavior. Janice Dickens Davidson of the Children's Trust is one of more than 20 organizations working with the Roanoke Valley Trauma Initiative Community Network to help identify trauma in children. It impacts their physical and mental well-being over a Time. It impacts their ability to earn money. It impacts their ability to do well in school. Roanoke City Schools employees are receiving training from Connected Child Consulting. Morris hopes all schools will become part of a trauma-informed community network. There are uh, multiple cities around the country that have um, become trauma-informed, and I think it is it really helps kids um, know that there's somebody supporting them, knowing that there's somebody that cares, that is, um, is asking that question, what has happened to you? In Roanoke, Patricia Martellotti, 10 News, working for you. There is a hidden jewel living here in Virginia's Blue Ridge. It's a fish called the candy darter. It's named for its amazing colors, but as I learned on a recent outing, it's as rare as it is beautiful. Although it looks like an exotic fish from the tropics, the candy darter lives in cold, fast-flowing streams in the mountains. Once widespread, now only four streams in the Commonwealth and a few in West Virginia still hold the candy darter. Research done largely by this group represents most of what is known about the fish in its current state. On this day, they're sampling the stream to add to the world's knowledge of the fish which is not easy to find. No candy darters. Not what we were looking for. This next one looks pretty good, though. We're just going to go straight back. Among this candy darter who's who of researchers is Katie McBain. So part of what the work that I'm doing is trying to get at survival estimates for these fish. I'm also trying to get at, are, is the population growing? Is it just stable or is it decreasing? Dr. Paul Angermeyer oversees Katie's research. So Katie's work is doing some more detailed work to find out exactly uh, where they occur in the stream, what they like or don't like in terms of habitat, also looking at how much they move from one place to another within a stream, which we don't know anything about. Oh, here we go. You got a male? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that fish. After about an hour of trying to push fish into the net, we finally find our first male candy darter along with a few of the more drab females. All right, 71 and zero. 
McBain measures and weighs each fish as Don Kirk, a biologist from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, records the data. Then a portion of the tail is clipped from each fish for DNA testing. The group wants to know if fish from this stream might do well if transplanted into a stream where the fish no longer exists. It's very sensitive to warming water and, and fine sediment loading. So those are things that have occurred over the past century or so that have resulted in a lot of streams becoming unsuitable, which is why it's disappeared from so many places. Once the seining or netting is done, we donned wetsuits to guard against the cold water and the rocks to try and observe the darters. It's not much easier than netting them. It can be very difficult because these fish are are adapted for fast water, and we are not. Uh, we're clumsy uh, kind of oafs that go through the water, and they must laugh at us when they see us. With underwater cameras, we manage to capture a few candy darters. They're in the habitat they require. There's a lot of uh, material on the bottom, such as uh, boulders and, and what we call cobble or rubble, gravel, and there's a lot of little spaces in those, in those areas where fish can live, Fish can lay eggs. There's a lot of uh, life in between those of crayfish and aquatic insects. Jordan Richard of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says protecting the candy darter is part of maintaining the entire ecosystem. Darters are bug eaters, and so a lot of the bugs that swim around and annoy us throughout the summer, they start their lives in streams, and it's a candy darter's sort of job in life to eat those bugs. In addition, the fish is just beautiful. It is an incredible fish, and it's been noted as one of the prettiest freshwater fishes uh, in North America. And I would say when, when the males are in their breeding condition, which is in the spring, it rivals anything you find in the tropics or in, in the Caribbean. And based on research by the members of the group that we just saw and their colleagues in West Virginia, the Wildlife Service has now proposed a rule that the darter be listed as threatened. That's just a step away from endangered. The announcement will be made in October of this year. It's official. WSLS 10 has broken ground on our new building. After the break, we'll give you a look at what will become our new home. Good morning, class. Break out your pencils and paper. It's time for a quiz. How can you catch up with 10 News every morning? Oh, watch Virginia Today. Check the 10 News app. Uh, get a flash briefing from Alexa. Correct. And what can they expect from us? Whether to plan their day. Breaking news. Safety alerts. Correct again. Connect with 10 News Virginia Today every morning for help with all your back to school homework. Now can anybody tell me where Jenna is? Um, she missed the bus. Buy your Bristol's America's Night Race ticket with confidence with new weather guarantee. Having a hip replacement, you, you're going to have to have rehab, and I knew that I wanted a very special place, so I picked Ridgefield. I came down here to get rehab and get going again, and I got exactly what I wanted. It's unprecedented, unrivaled, unreal. It's the unbeatable unlimited sale with new Sprint Unlimited Plus. You get Hulu to stream the TV you love on your device. Title music streaming with 56 million songs, plus a 15 gigabyte mobile hotspot so friends and family can share your Wi-Fi anywhere. And for a limited time, you get all this for less. Now just $22 per month per line for five lines when you bring or buy your phones. Get new Unlimited Plus now at your local Sprint store. Suddenly, everyone else's Unlimiteds are uncool. The Harvester Performance Center presents a spectacular lineup of shows. Highlights include Buddy Guy, September 7th. Keb Moe, September 15th. Lori Morgan, September 21st. And Blue Oyster Cult, September 29th. For the complete schedule, click harvester-music.com or call 540-GUITARS. It's all at the Harvester Performance Center, downtown Rocky Mount. 26 letters and thousands of combinations form the building blocks of our language. But only the combination of two letters helps you find quality TV for your child. E, I, E for educational, I for informational. See this and know WSLS 10 has viewed these programs and thinks they'll be a fun learning experience for your child. You'll find these great programs on Get TV, Fridays from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So watch for the E, I symbols. It's great TV from Get TV. 
at the Skullrood Law Firm, here's what we mean by helping people. I can call at any time for any reason. It's not what they can get out of you, it's what they can get for you. They will make sure that everything will be done the right way. He really does go to bat for his clients. He's very well known in the community. It makes a difference, it makes a big difference. You'll get a law firm that will listen to you. Helping people is what they do. This facility is amazing. Between the facility, the therapists, the campus, the rooms are so lovely and nice. It's just a wonderful place to come and recover. I can't say enough nice things about Richfield. Freedom First, where people bank for good. Freedomfirst.com. Today is a big day for those of us here at WSLS 10, and we hope for you as well. It feels like Christmas. Yeah. We are getting a brand new TV station. We broke ground today on the new facility, which is located behind, behind Magic City Ford in Roanoke, not far from the Berglund Center. The new building, which is just an open warehouse right now, should be ready for us to move into in March of next year. It'll allow us to be more effective in being not just a TV station, but a multimedia digital news center. It's a big commitment from WSLS parent company, Graham Media Holdings. It's a many, many, many millions of dollars. Uh, I won't get into the exact number, but it is, it's a significant amount of money uh, to invest in this community. It represents the future for us, what we're able to do for the community. Um, it, it's just, it's endless. Um, I, I'm just ecstatic. Plans have been in the works for months now, and this is just a glimpse of what the inside will look like. And from the outside, you can expect to see a lot, a lot of windows, among many other improvements. So we are excited here. We're gathering reaction and tributes to Aretha Franklin and a complete look back at her life and music tonight, plus relief on the way from the soaring prices of those EpiPens so many depend on for life-threatening allergic reactions on NBC Nightly News. Star City Music, we repair all band and string instruments quickly and locally. Star City Music. Your Papa John's believes in better. You won't find MSG, BHA, BHT, or partially hydrogenated oil in our pizza. We make it better because you deserve better. Your Papa John's, proudly serving Central and Southwest Virginia since 1992. I measure 90% of the jobs, and I'm looking for the problems. I'm, I'm going out to measure, and it's going to be measured right. Job one for a salesperson is to make sure that whatever they pick out is appropriate for their house. And we install it. They're not installing it. We're installing it. So that's the difference between box stores and us. There is no relationship with a box store, with the customers. We have relationships with our customers. It doesn't end the day we walk out of your house. We're still there. Rot, fungus, mildew, pests, rodents, and your family are all sharing the same air. Your crawl space may be putting their health in danger and you don't even know it. Protect your greatest asset and call JES today. Owned and operated by professional engineers, our team gets it right the first time and has provided permanent solutions to over 70,000 homeowners. Every job we do starts with a free estimate and comes with a transferable long-term warranty. That's the JES promise. Don't let your summer vacation come to an end. Our sunny skies, tranquil ocean waters, and 60 miles of beautiful, stress-free beaches stretch well into the fall. Fall is the perfect time to visit, so take some time for you and let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. Let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. Want to grab some lunch? Sorry, I can't. I'm spending hours reconciling all these copier bills. I got this month's bill, last month's bill. I have to reconcile it to the contract every month. I mean, what are we paying for? You know, I'm tired of dealing with this too. Let's call Ethos Technologies and go with their flat rate, no meter billing plan. Sounds good to me. Now, let's get some lunch. Call Ethos Technologies today to learn about our flat rate, no meter billing plan. Here it comes, unfiltered emotion. A reasonable reaction to the outstanding deals at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. The knowledge that your new Honda HRV was named part of 2018's best SUV lineup in America and comes with a standard rear view camera has this sort of effect. Find your joyful moment at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. Oh, I get it. Visit your local Honda dealer today 
and test drive the Honda HRV. Your Papa John's believes in better. You won't find MSG, BHA, BHT, or partially hydrogenated oil in our pizza. We make it better because you deserve better. Your Papa John's, proudly serving Central and Southwest Virginia since 1992. You are looking at a live picture from our Roanoke Blacksburg Airport sky cam. We do have some clouds at the airport right now, but we're certainly seeing some sun peeking through as well. A lot of the sun that we've seen this afternoon has been of the hazy sort. Saw more blue skies this morning. The sun turned a little more hazy as we headed into the afternoon. The radar picture showing one or two little itty bitty showers around. Most of the energy stayed west of us today. We're going to start out and we're going into Carroll County areas uh, just to the north of Hillsville, uh, dealing with a little bit of rain uh, areas right now around Pleasant View Road, uh, Oak Grove Road. This is Interstate 77 right here. Highway 52 dealing with a little bit of rain as well. So this one little cell in northern Carroll County, you're not alone. Also have one cell up towards Highland County as well. This one is uh, a little healthier. Uh, this one could actually have a little bit of hail inside it as it moves closer to bluegrass and Monterey. I think the worst of the cell is going to stay just north of you, but may be clipped by the southern end. Looks like Highway 220 will start to get hit in Monterey, uh, also into other parts of Highland County, northern parts of Highland County within about the next five to eight minutes or so as that is moving to the east at around about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Future tracker showing overnight tonight, looking like a night where we're going to have at least a little bit of cloud cover around from time to time. Friday starts with skies partly sunny. Looks like we'll stay partly sunny even into the afternoon, but there's a much better shot for some hit or miss thunder showers after about 2 p.m. tomorrow, lasting through about maybe 9, even 10 o'clock, and then we're going to start to see the activity winding down. Saturday starts dry, but look what happens Saturday afternoon. You guessed it. More showers and thunderstorms will develop. So kind of the takeaway here is as we head into the afternoon and evening here for the next couple of days, the rain chances increase. If you have any outdoor plans Friday or Saturday, better chances to stay dry in the morning. Bus stop forecast for Friday off to school. Temperatures will be around 71 heading home from school. Again, that's where we're going to see those hit or miss thunder showers with temperatures likely in the upper 80s. The severe weather risk is there for us. Unfortunately, tomorrow not widespread and very isolated, but nevertheless, we are in a marginal risk for severe weather. That's a level one out of level five from the Storm Prediction Center. The threat for tornadoes basically nil, but we could have some P to quarter size hail, also some damaging winds and the threat for some localized flooding goes up Friday, especially as we head into Saturday with a better chance for rain. This weekend, notice that the pollen forecast will go down a little bit. Levels are going to decrease on Saturday and Sunday, maybe going up a little bit Monday because we're going to be a little bit drier Monday, and then they'll fall again as we head into Tuesday as those rain chances increase. It's 88 in Lynchburg, 90 South Boston, 82 Withville, Blacksburg, you're at 85. The temperature outlook for the next six to 10 days. Temperatures look to stay a little bit below normal here for about the next week, maybe week and a half as I think the main culprit for that will be increased clouds and also increased rain chances. Overnight lows tonight in the 60s and lower 70s as we're muggy. Tomorrow we're looking at some hit or miss thunder showers in the afternoon and evening with highs in the 80s and lower 90s. We're in the low to mid 80s Saturday through Thursday. We're unsettled Saturday through Wednesday. We'll see, I think, drier weather to start to push in again one week from today. Just make sure to have the umbrella handy this weekend. You won't need it at all times, but uh, especially in the afternoon and evening, the rain chances increase. Eric. All right, coming up in sports, Virginia Tech is working hard to solidify the O-line. We'll see how that's going, and we head down 464. Check on the Appomattox County Raiders for the first and 10 camp tour. Sports is next. SafeSide Tactical is the area's largest independent firearms retailer. Over 6,000 square feet of retail space offers a selection of hundreds of guns at great prices. Open seven days a week at Roanoke and Lynchburg locations. Visit SafeSideTactical.com for details. Let Mountjoy RV Sales and Service get you ready to explore the outdoors. We have a wide selection of campers and RVs to fit any and all of your recreational needs. Our personalized approach to sales will make sure you get the right RV at the right price. Right now, payments start as low as $120 a month. Mountjoy RV, family owned and operated, located in Buchanan, Virginia, just a few miles off I-81. Visit us online at mountjoyrv.com. Real people steal people. They want real power, real options, and real value. This fall, get a real solution, get a steal.
It's the end of summer and time for back to school savings on the Sheeler Motor Mile at Motor Mile Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram Truck. And during the summer clearance event, buy a new 2018 Jeep Wrangler Sport for only $30,758. Plus, Sheeler's breaking out the big checks to get you big cash for your trade. And because we own the finance company, Sheeler says yes to credit approval. Back to school savings all month long at Motor Mile Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram on the Sheeler Motor Mile. Why start anywhere else? What a storm. If only we had a heavy-duty tape that was crystal clear and even held up underwater. <laughs> crystal clear gorilla tape? Of course. Crystal clear fix, patch, and seal, even underwater, for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Pamper your feet with this at-home pedicure. I don't have time for that. My feet get so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keeffe's for healthy feet, guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked feet. Thanks to O'Keeffe's, I got my feet back. Safeside Range is the area's premier indoor range and training destination. From large caliber rifles to handguns, we offer 23 lanes, a 101-yard indoor bay, and expert instructors. Open seven days a week. Safeside Range in Roanoke and Lynchburg. Visit us at safesiderange.com. Feel the difference. Handcrafted furniture from wood grains in Rocky Mount. We start out on the ice where the rail yard dogs will call Berglund Center home through 2022. The two reached a three year lease extension today that will keep the dogs in the building for games and a primary practice facility. The dog season starts in two months with the first home game coming on October the 20th. The first and 10 camp tour stays out east for a check on the defending three time class two champion Appomattox County Raiders. Now, Appomattox has a record of 44 and one over the past three seasons, led by seven year coach Doug Smith. The Raiders are happy about their recent success, but they are ready to move on to the task at hand. They return just three starters to each side of the ball, losing 17 guys to the senior class. Coach Smith and the players say now the goal is to reload, work hard, and not be complacent. We know that we've been very fortunate to have some good athletes and have some good people around us. Uh, our coaches know how hard we have to work, and I think the kids, for the most part, they understand that some are still growing into that. Some of our kids still have to grow and understand that it's going to take a lot of work to, to, to meet the expectations. It just let the young players, everybody know that, hey, we're not settling for just three. We, we grinding, you know. We got to make it back. We grinding. Last year we had a lot of linemen and they, they stayed and I think that's going to be the key this year is in the trenches because we can't do nothing without our linemen. Like you always said, we have a target on our back since day one. We got we to gotta keep going. They're after us. Every team out there is after us. All right, for the 14th consecutive year, Appomattox will open the season against Buckingham County. The Virginia Tech Hokies are hard at work perfecting their craft with the season just weeks away. The offensive line lost two solid starters in Eric Gallo and Wyatt Teller, but they still have a healthy mix of youth and experience. Kyle Chung was granted a sixth year of eligibility after having two injury plagued seasons. He's likely making a move to center. Lined up with him will be Yashua Nijman, who has received praise for evolving into an NFL body, and also Braxton Faff. The coaching staff says there's some healthy competition going on amongst the group and having depth is key. I feel great about this group because it's daily competition and, you know, I like for guys to settle in, but, you know, if they have a bad day, we, we'll play musical chairs in a heartbeat. We're just a bunch of hungry guys. I mean, every year since I was a freshman to now being a senior, all the offensive line has been hungry to, like, you know, play hard and do the best we can for the team and for the offense. It was also announced today that quarterback Josh Jackson has been named to the Manning Award watch list. He's coming off a record setting campaign with freshman passing marks with nearly 3000 yards and 20 touchdowns. His yardage and 236 completions led all power five freshman quarterbacks. News and notes now the Braves Ronald Acuna Jr. fine after being hit in the elbow of last night's game. Both Casey Kane and Virginia native Elliott Saller will retire at the end of the season Ooh. and preseason mm. action tonight includes the Redskins hosting the Jets and a Super Bowl 52 rematch with the Pats and the Eagles. So a chance at redemption mm. going on the line tonight. Doesn't mean we'll anything. Doesn't, doesn't count anything. All right, Nightly News is next. <laughs> you love to sit, you love to sleep, and you love to save money. We combine all three into one amazing event. It's Grand's Sit, Sleep, and Save. Save up to 65% store-wide. From sofas to mattresses, going on now at Grand. 
Now there's one place you can go to do all your shopping for your next car, truck, or RV. It's johnsoncars.com. Whether it's a new Chevrolet, a new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram, a pre-owned, or that RV you've always wanted, just go to johnsoncars.com. With johnsoncars.com, you're just a few clicks away from hundreds of vehicles. They're priced right and sold in the no-hassle, no-process fee Johnson tradition. I'm Jeff Johnson, and I promise you're going to like it here. The Harvester Performance Center presents a spectacular lineup of shows. Highlights include Buddy Guy, September 7th. Cap Mo, September 15th. Lori Morgan, September 21st. And Blue Oyster Cult, September 29th. For the complete schedule, click harvester-music.com or call 540-GUITARS. It's all at the Harvester Performance Center, downtown Rocky Mountain. Hey, Marcus here to tell you that Gander Outdoors is having its biggest outdoor and RV super show of the year. Warehouse pricing on fishing, boating, hunting, shooting sports, biking, hiking, camping, plus RVs starting as low as $119 a month. With millions in inventory, all at warehouse pricing, we won't be undersold, and I guarantee it. Look for the giant American flag and celebrate our freedom and great savings at Gander Outdoors in Roanoke. You love to sleep, and you love to save money. So you're going to love Grand Sit, Sleep, and Save event. Get two years, no interest, and save on mattresses for as low as $99 each. If you can sleep on it, you can save on it at Grand right now. Get a reliable forecast from Storm Team 10. capture the magnitude of Aretha Franklin's talent and her impact on American music. Hers was a voice like no other with a gutsy soul that transcended musical boundaries. And I likely heard that Aretha Franklin died at home today in Detroit from pancreatic cancer. She was 76. We knew her as the queen of soul. The timbre of her voice could give you chills and tears. And there are plenty of those tonight. We begin with our look back at Aretha. There has never been a voice like her. The undisputed queen of soul, Aretha Franklin. We know her song so well, all it takes is the first few notes, and we can sing the rest by heart. Does he love me? I wanna know. It is amazing to find what it is singers do for people. Aretha Louise Franklin was born in Memphis in 1942. Her dad, a Baptist minister, her mom, a singer and pianist. Their home wasn't always happy or stable, and music was Franklin's outlet. She started out performing in church. I had no real formal training. Uh, my formal training was my ear. Uh, that's it, uh, right here. At 14, she recorded her first album. By then, she was pregnant with her second child, and teenage motherhood temporarily stalled her career. But by her early 20s, she had her first top 10 hit. Love 
I never loved a man. Respect followed a few months later, and a star was born. Everybody wants respect. Young, old, middle-aged, even little three-year-olds want respect. She was a diva and a trailblazer who used her voice to crash through barriers, rising against the backdrop of the civil rights movement to become the first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. There was a rough patch in the 70s, but Franklin found a memorable way to make a comeback. And thanks to her power, range, and style, she's remained an icon ever since, producing so many signature hits, it's impossible to pick a favorite. They're like my children, I love them all, um, but there are some that I, I like a little more than others. There were also 18 Grammys, more than 20 number one singles, and a Presidential Medal of Freedom. It was Franklin's voice that was the soundtrack to so many cultural milestones, from Martin Luther King Jr.'s memorial service to Barack Obama's inauguration. Twice divorced and a mother of four, Franklin was fiercely protective of her privacy. In later years, preferring to spend most of her time at home in Detroit. Which is perhaps why this 2015 performance at the Kennedy Center was so special. Franklin brought the house down, later calling it one of the best nights of her life, and reminding the world she'll always be the queen. I love what I do, and I just wouldn't be doing anything else. In fact, I thought, what, what else would I have done? As soon as the sad news broke today, the tributes began pouring in for Aretha from her beloved hometown of Detroit across the globe. Fans sharing what she meant to them. Aron Mott is in Detroit for us tonight with reaction. On sidewalks, from open doors at homes, to roll down car windows. Her soulful sound rang out all around Detroit today. She just recently said she would never retire. She didn't retire. She just decided she would just rest in peace. Outside New Bethel Baptist Church, where her father was a pastor, her voice first soared singing gospel, people gathered in her honor. I remember how music was always good music. So I don't even classify it as secular or gospel, just good music. Reverend Jesse Jackson stopped by, recalling her as a civil rights activist. She was a freedom fighter. In Harlem, a marquee goodbye. She represented someone who was so strong and so determined to show who she was and orchestrate that through her music. Farewell to a star in L.A. Online, an outpouring of love and respect. Tributes from Barbara Streisand, Elton John, Paul McCartney, Diana Ross calling her a golden spirit. Patti LaBelle said her music was the soundtrack to the lives of so many. We love you, Aretha, and rest in heaven, and you will be sorely missed. Detroit's hometown queen, gone. Her songs, everlasting. Before word of her passing spread around Detroit today, there was just a single bouquet of balloons back there. That crime continues to grow, as do the crowds tonight. We saw some tears, some hugs, but a whole lot of smiles and dancing as that powerful voice wafts in the air. Funeral arrangements attended tonight, Lester. What a scene out there tonight. Ron, thank you. She meant so much to so many people, and though Aretha Franklin is gone, she will live on to the incredible and timeless body of work she leaves us. We want to take a moment to listen to Aretha sing.
lot of memories packed in there. We're going to have more on Aretha Franklin a bit later on. But we want to turn now to President Trump. Well, a jury deliberated the fate of his former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, in the first trial of the Russia investigation. The president brushed aside questions about revoking the security clearance of one of his harshest critics, former CIA chief John Brennan, for reasons he now admits are related to that Russia probe. Our White House correspondent, Kristen Welker, pressed the president today on that in the cabinet room. Mr. President, is it appropriate for you to punish your critic? President Trump not commenting on his new crackdown, but overnight a stunning admission, telling the Wall Street Journal he stripped the security clearance of John Brennan and threatened to revoke others because of the Russia investigation. I call it the rigged witch hunt. It is a sham, and these people let it, so I think it's something that had to be done. Brennan ramped up his own counterattacks in a blistering op-ed in the New York Times writing, Mr. Trump's claims of no collusion are in a word hogwash after telling MS NBC Wednesday. We're better than this. We have to be better than this. Tonight, a show of solidarity from the commander behind the bin Laden raid. Retired Navy Admiral William McRaven writing an open letter to the president in the Washington Post, calling Brennan a man of unparalleled integrity, honesty, and character, and goading the president. I would consider it an honor if you would revoke my security clearance as well. On Capitol Hill, fierce fallout, including from many Republicans. Look, I, I thought it was just kind of a banana rub republic kind of thing and, and uh, you know I don't like it I think it's inappropriate I do not see the grounds for revoking his security clearance but some defending the president including Richard Burr the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee writing in a statement Brennan should tell Congress about any evidence of collusion but Burr adding if Brennan is sharing classified information for political purposes quote the president has full authority to revoke his security clearance and he's not alone. I actually believe that it was about time that he did take away that because Brennan has been very outspoken for a guy that was uh, dealing in national security interests as mm -hmm. thoroughly as he was. Now the president's also been trying to turn the page from the controversy swirling around his former aide Omarosa's new book which claims the Trump presidency is unraveling. Now Mr. Trump's campaign is threatening legal action against Omarosa and her publisher, but they're firing back tonight saying they won't be intimidated or silenced. Lester. Kristen Welker at the White House, thanks. Alarm bells are ringing over the price of that military parade the president is promising on Veterans Day. According to an official, the event could cost about $92 million. That's more than three times the initial estimate. Details of the parade are not yet finalized. Police are searching homes and swarming a park in New Haven, Connecticut for drugs after the mass overdose we told you about yesterday. Officials tonight say it was a bad batch of synthetic marijuana that caused at least 76 people to fall ill at a park near Yale University. Some also tested positive for the powerful opioid fentanyl. No deaths were reported and three suspects have been arrested. Now to the chilling murder confession of a father in Colorado, the 33-year-old admitting to killing his pregnant wife and their two children, a body believed to be one of the three victims found today on the property where the suspect once worked. NBC News national correspondent Miguel Almaguer has the latest. From father and husband to triple murder suspect, arrested overnight, Chris Watts is accused of killing his pregnant wife, Shanann, and their two daughters, three-year-old Celeste and four-year-old Bella. It just seems like I'm, I'm living in a nightmare and I can't get out of it. After playing yeah. the grieving husband, a law enforcement source tells our Denver affiliate Watts confessed to killing his family. Local media says he led investigators to where he dumped the bodies, the oil and gas company where he worked. We have been able to recover um, a uh, body that we're quite certain is uh, Shanann Watts. We have uh, strong reason to believe that we know where the bodies of the children are. Not yet releasing a motive, investigators are building a timeline. Shanann Watts arrived home from a business trip at 2 a.m. Monday. Chris Watts says he left for work around 5 a.m. It's unclear how Shanann and the kids were murdered, but investigators say it happened at home. I just want them people to know that I want my family back. On Facebook, Shanann's brother writing, I just want to know why. My precious family, Bella, Celeste, and her soon-to-be-found-out unborn son, Nico. 
My husband and I had two beautiful girls. Tonight, an unspeakable crime. A father of two accused of killing three. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News. The Vatican is breaking its silence some 48 hours after a bombshell grand jury report accused the church in Pennsylvania of protecting over 300 predator priests who allegedly sexually abused over a thousand children. Tonight, the Vatican is expressing, quote, shame and sorrow and calls the described abuses criminally and morally reprehensible. The Vatican says victims should know that Pope Francis is on their side, but also says church reforms have drastically reduced clergy abuse since the early 2000s. Have you dreamed of becoming a doctor, but you worry about taking out hundreds of thousands in student loans? Well, today, one of the top medical schools in the nation, New York University, announced it will offer free tuition to all students. NYU says it's worth $55,000 and hopes to encourage doctors to choose lower-paying specialties. Still ahead, the price you pay. Relief is finally on the way. Abstract accident. Seen it, covered it. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Suction out your dough before you eat. Don't use spray paint. Be very careful, Shaby. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. Tomorrow, she graced our studio with her powerful voice. Now, we pay tribute to the life and music of legendary singer Aretha Franklin, the Queen of Soul. Tomorrow on Today. Some good news now for your health and your wallet. The FDA today approving the first generic version of the EpiPen, saying the move will lower the cost of a life-saving allergy injection. It comes after the company that makes EpiPen sparked nationwide fury by hiking the price. NBC's Dr. John Torres reports. Today's announcement, long-awaited relief for millions of Americans. Like Robin O'Brien, mother of four kids with severe allergies, who always carries EpiPens, life-saving injections that can reverse the effects of allergic reactions. And she's watched EpiPen's price soar. The impact exponentially of this device being jacked up in price over and over and over again is taking such an incredible toll on American families. But the FDA now approving the first generic version of EpiPen, which will be made by Teva Pharmaceuticals, that it says will be cheaper, though the price hasn't been revealed. EpiPen maker Mylan has come under fire for massive price hikes after buying the rights to sell the drug, hiking the price nearly 500%, from $100 to $600 for a two-pack following public backlash, offering a $300 generic. Mylan CEO grilled before Congress. By introducing a generic, which truly is unprecedented, I mean, we cut the price in half. So well, I know it's unprecedented to raise the price $500. The FDA announcement likely to spark more low-cost alternatives. It is absolutely critical when it comes to protecting the lives of children that an epinephrine device not only work, 
but it also be affordable. A life-saving drug at a lower price. Dr. John Torres, NBC News. There is more to tell you about this evening. Coming up, the safety alert you need to hear. And the wolf huffed and puffed. Like you do sometimes, Grandpa? Well, when you have COPD, it can be hard to breathe. So my doctor said... Simpacord can help you breathe better, starting within five minutes. It doesn't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden symptoms. Simpacord helps provide significant improvement of your lung function. Simpacord is for COPD, including chronic bronchitis and emphysema. It should not be taken more than twice a day. It may increase your risk of lung infections, osteoporosis, and some eye problems. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. Simbacort could mean a day with better breathing. Watch out, piggy. <laughs> Get Simbacort free at saveonsimbacort.com. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. Liberty Mutual Accident Forgiveness means they won't hike your rates over one mistake. See? Liberty Mutual doesn't hold grudges. For drivers with accident forgiveness, Liberty Mutual won't raise their rates because of their first accident. Liberty, 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 Liberty. The first survivor of Alzheimer's disease is out there. And the Alzheimer's Association is going to make it happen. But we won't get there without you. Join the fight with the Alzheimer's Association. With Advil Liquid Gels, you'll ask, what bad shoulder? What headache? Advil is relief that's fast, strength that lasts. You'll ask, what pain? With Advil Liquid Gels. Fidelity is redefining value for investors. Introducing zero account fees for brokerage accounts. And zero minimums to open an account. We have Fidelity Mutual Funds with zero minimum investment. Now, Homeland Fidelity offers two zero expense ratio index funds directly to investors. Because when you invest with Fidelity, all those zeros Your Papa John's believes in better. You won't find MSG, BHA, BHT, or partially hydrogenated oil in our pizza. We make it better because you deserve better. Your Papa John's, proudly serving Central and Southwest Virginia since 1992. Your Papa John's believes in better. You won't find MSG, BHA, BHT, or partially hydrogenated oil in our pizza. We make it better because you deserve better. Your Papa John's, proudly serving Central and Southwest Virginia since 1992. We're back now with an important safety report for the millions of Americans who own or are considering buying a minivan. With many of you squeezing in a last-minute summer road trip or gearing up to take the kids to school, tonight new crash test results are raising concerns about a popular model. Here's NBC's Tom Costello. Fear of a terrible crash is often the prime reason families choose a minivan, looking for the safest way to get kids to school, soccer, and vacations. Now, new crash tests from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety focused on minivans. This time, front passenger side crashes where the van hits another car, tree, or pole. The stronger the safety cage that cocoons the front passenger, the better. The biggest surprise? One of the most popular minivans, the Toyota Sienna, earned a poor rating for structural integrity. Because of extensive intrusion into the passenger's survival space. The injury is potentially serious, and the damage could extend to the second row. It's particularly concerning because that's where you're going to put your smaller children. The best performing vehicles, the 2018 Honda Odyssey and the Chrysler Pacifica, both earned top safety pick designations, while the Toyota Sienna ranked lower with an overall score of average. Toyota tells NBC News it has taken steps to improve the performance of its vehicles in the test as a nation of minivan drivers buckles in for a new school year. 
Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington. When we come back after a short break, a final tribute to the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. And no one has ever seen or heard them, but I know they're out there. What was that? I heard it too. With our laser measured floor liners, cargo liners, side window deflectors, bump step, and no drill mud flaps, WeatherTech's got you covered this summer. Order yours today at WeatherTech.com, the ultimate protection for your vehicle. Hello? Since my stroke, he hasn't left my side. With the right steps, 80% of recurrent ischemic strokes could be prevented. A Bayer aspirin regimen is one step to help prevent another stroke. So I'm doing all I can to stay in his life. Be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. I want to give you some advice about getting ready in the morning. Love you, And now you're ready You can quit. For free help, call 1 800 Quit Now. Tomorrow. Is there an afterlife? My guests say yes, because they say they've been there. Survivors of accident and disease, their first-hand accounts of the great beyond and how it changed them for good. Tomorrow, I'm Megan Kelly today. Find your new running buddy and playmate. Join 10 News and help us clear the shelters. It's a one-day adoption event August 18th at these participating shelters. And seriously, how can you say no to that thing? tonight a few more thoughts about Aretha Franklin. I can tell you as a musician you couldn't help but be influenced by her music because it touched virtually every genre. I spent a lot of time in my office today culling through her recordings discovering songs I hadn't heard or thought of in years while realizing the futility of trying to choose a favorite. So many to pick from but let me leave you tonight with one that especially touched me. It's called Angel. Thank you for watching and good night. Find me an angel Just ahead on 10 News at 7, siblings of a baby who died in a drug-filled home are demanding justice. Why they say just charging the parents is not enough. That and more coming up next. 
At Member One, we see you where you are and where you want to be. Ready for a new beginning? You know where we are. Member One, we put people before profits. Don't let your summer vacation come to an end. Our sunny skies, tranquil ocean waters, and 60 miles of beautiful, stress-free beaches stretch well into the fall. Fall is the perfect time to visit, so take some time for you and let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. Let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. At Member One, we see you where you are and where you want to be. Saving for the next chapter, you know where we are. Member one, we put people before profits. Get a reliable forecast from Storm Team 10. Live from WSLS, this is 10 News at 7, working for you. Now at 7, local teachers are learning how to better spot kids in need of help. How a nonprofit is hoping to create a culture that can see the signs better. Another health scandal from Chipotle, how the chain is handling the latest blow to its reputation. And the town of Christiansburg is talking trash, how they're hoping going with a private company might save you some money. The family of a baby who died after they say reports of abuse and neglect went ignored by the Rockbridge County Social Services Office is suing. Charlie Ford was born with serious health complications, but her half-siblings say they didn't know she was born addicted to drugs. But the Department of Social Services, they say, did. And Charlie was allowed to live with her parents in a home that the department classified as high risk. Workers noted at the time that the home was dirty and drug abuse was present. I feel like there's not going to be a change until this board in the staff members that are still there, which were involved with little Charlie's dying, are removed. Despite the accusations, the Virginia Department of Social Services has voted not to remove any board members of the Rockbridge, Rockbridge Area Social Services. The infant's parents, 42-year-old Charles Ford and 29-year-old Diana Hazelwood, are charged with felony murder in Charlie's death. Can an accused MS-13 gang member get a fair trial in Central Virginia? His attorney doesn't think so and wants the trial moved out of Bedford County. 10 News reporter Arisha Jones tells us if that could be a possibility. In these documents I picked up today, the attorney for one of the men accused of killing Raymond Wood says he wants the case moved out of Bedford County in order for his client to get a fair trial. This is 21-year-old Kevin Soto Bonilla. His attorney, Anthony Anderson, says his client can't receive a fair trial and find unbiased jurors because of media coverage. Soto Bonilla is accused of being an MS-13 gang member and charged with capital murder in the death of 17-year-old Raymond Wood in March 2017. His body was found on Roin Run Road. Bedford County Commonwealth Attorney Wes Nance says he's confident a jury can be seated. I believe that every defendant certainly deserves a fair trial, but they also deserve to be tried in the location where the crime allegedly occurred. I believe the citizens of Bedford need the opportunity to hear this case and that of the other co-defendants. Former Kansas Attorney General and District Attorney, now Liberty Law Professor Phil Klein, isn't associated with the case, but says the defendant's attorney has a right to try to move the case. There's already a lot of protections in place to ensure a defendant gets a fair trial. His attorney will have a right to question prospective jurors. The trial for Soto Bonilla is expected to start in January. In Bedford County, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you. Police in Christiansburg need your help to find a person who is breaking into cars. According to the police department, people have lost money and valuables in a rash of overnight car break-ins over the past few weeks. I'm showing you a picture right now of the suspect and the car that he and an accomplice were driving. It was caught on a security camera. Police want to remind people to lock their vehicles as it's been mostly unlocked cars that have been targeted. If you have any information, please call police. A new tool to help Virginia Tech police officers keep campus safe. Every officer will now be equipped with a body camera. 
10 News reporter Allison Wickline spoke with the university to see what motivated the change. After a year-long review and a two-week pilot period, all of Virginia Tech's police officers will now have body cameras. After that review process and plenty of training, each Virginia Tech police officer is now outfitted with a camera. And the new tools are coming just in time as thousands of new students hit campus. The university purchased 48 cameras for a total of $115,000. University staff say in today's society, the investment was worth it. This takes away all of that doubt. And so it, it does support law enforcement agencies that do the work, the good work that they do on a daily basis. It documents that. The department says the body camera discussion started as law enforcement agencies around the country began issuing them to officers. The body cameras will be used in addition to the camera systems that are already in Virginia Tech's police cruisers. In Blacksburg, Allison Wickline, 10 News, working for you. Roanoke City School employees are learning how to identify kids who may need help after traumatic experiences. Blue Ridge Parenting and Consulting is helping them learn to identify everything from domestic violence to child abuse. It's part of a Roanoke Prevention Alliance initiative for every school in the area to become a part of the trauma-informed community network. Instead of asking um, a kid what is wrong with you, ask them what has happened to you. More than likely, something is going on at home that nobody knows about. More than 20 other organizations have joined in to help with this initiative. The initiative to teach students how to treat trauma patients is taking place all across the country. Just back in April, we took you to Roanoke and to Danville. That's where students learn from this campaign. It's called Stop the Bleed, and they learned that time is of the essence. So today, Omar Jimenez talks to the experts teaching the response tactics in hopes of saving lives in the event the unthinkable happens. You know, person's bleeding or saying, please stop, please stop. I tell them that I need to do this. Yeah, you're trying to save this person's life. It's a nightmare scenario that's increasingly being viewed as a potential reality, especially for students. They're in shock because they've lost so much blood. Dr. Habiba Park is helping train about 50 students from around the country in trauma response as part of a campaign called Stop the Bleed, done through a series of lectures. Use whatever you got. And of course, oh hands-on training to stop victims from bleeding out. In other words, save a life. I didn't worry about whether there was going to be a mass casualty in my school or my city. It's a different world. The campaign began in the aftermath of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. 20 children and six adults were killed. Dr. Scalia says a third of those victims might have been saved with this type of training. And in 2018, more than 30 people have been killed in school shootings across the country. I need to fill it in with the gauze. Correct. Angel Onans lives in the Houston area near Santa Fe High School. You hear these things on the news and you're like, oh, that's sad. But when it's like close to you or when it's happening to you, it's a different thing altogether. In a mass casualty scenario, every second makes a difference. This is a disease of time, right? The clock starts ticking when you get hurt, not when you get to the hospital. And this is the first line of defense, applying tourniquets, packing wounds, stalling until first responders can get there. EMS should be here soon. It's part of what's on Madison Stuckler's mind as she trains, but specifically the Capitol Gazette shooting, happening only minutes from her home. Along with CPR that we learn in health class, high school, I think that this should be something that we learn because it's happening everywhere. This is arming the public with power, it's a powerful tool, the ability to save a life. I'm Omar Jimenez reporting. Turning now to your forecast. I'm here in the Weather Center with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Chris Michaels. And Chris, temperatures today what got up into the 90s. Some yeah. of these kids had to be released from school. It was so hot. I know. What do you think about tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to get close to that point again. And it's really, you know, we were out there at the, uh, yep. the groundbreaking for our new station. Mm -hmm. It was just so humid. It was so hot. Even at 11 o'clock in the yeah. morning and even still right now at 7 at night. Temperatures right now 86. The dew point of 70 making it feel a little hotter than that. You can see the haze as we're looking live from our Carillion Sky Cam in Roanoke. So still plenty hot, still plenty humid, but we are dry for the time being. We do see a few clouds and of course that haze overhead.
It's moving out ahead of our next weather maker, which is going to produce a few hit or miss showers and thunderstorms for us on Friday. First thing in the morning, we're going to start out dry, but muggy temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. By the afternoon, we're in the upper 80s to near 90 and a few of those showers and thunderstorms to cool us down for a little bit. Coming up in the full forecast, we're going to let you know about what kind of severe weather threat we see from that, any impacts on weekend plans, and also let you know when drier air returns. That full forecast coming up for you in just about 10 minutes. John. New at 7, Chipotle says it'll be retraining all restaurant employees on food safety procedures after health officials said tests tied at least one store back to a uh, positive testing for a disease connected to food left out at unsafe temperatures. The company had closed an Ohio store last month for cleaning when it became aware of reported illnesses. That store reopened the next day and health leaders are waiting tests to determine now the source. The state general health district said that food samples from the store tested negative for the bacteria in question. It says no specific food so far has been identified as the source. Chipotle's CEO said the retraining will start next week and the daily routine will be augmented. Christiansburg Town Council will be receiving requests for bids on the town's trash services. The town says that its goal is to look at now hiring or maybe how hiring a private company for trash might impact homeowners. Right now, the town says it has $1.7 million in the budget for solid waste in the fiscal year. Town officials say the request for bids will be listed for the next month or so. We hopefully entertain and receive offers for the service. We'll see what type of services are available at what cost and then evaluate, make, hopefully make a decision. Leaders say if they do decide to make any changes, the public will have input throughout the process. If you're an entrepreneur looking to start a business, listen up. Danville's River District Association has a new program for you. It's called Dream Launch 2019, an eight-week course that teaches the basics of running a business. After you complete it, you can pitch your business idea for a chance to win some of the money and incentives the River District Association has to help businesses get started. The association's goal is to have five businesses open in the River District next summer. To sign up for the course, just check out the Dream Launch 2019 story at WSLS.com. And WSLS is getting a new place to call home. The massive milestone we celebrated today coming up after the break. Star City Music prompt quality repairs done on site. Star City Music. Good morning, class. It's time for a quiz. How can you catch up with 10 News every morning? Watch Virginia Today. Check the 10 News app. Uh, get a flash briefing from Alexa. Connect with 10 News every morning for help with all your back-to-school homework. Find your new running buddy and playmate. Join 10 News and help us clear the shelters. It's a one-day adoption event August 18th at these participating shelters. And seriously, how can you say no to that face? Your Papa John's believes in better. You won't find MSG, BHA, BHT, or partially hydrogenated oil in our pizza. We make it better because you deserve better. Your Papa John's, proudly serving Central and Southwest Virginia since 1992. It's that time of year again. Time to get that camper out, get on the road, and enjoy some camping. And at Johnson Family RV, we've got the inventory, we've got the spring deals, and we can make it happen. With deals like a 2018 Summerlin Mini, starting at $99 a month. Or a Keystone Bullet, starting only $119 a month. Make your vacation a great memory, starting at Johnson Family RV. I'm Jeff Johnson, and I promise you're going to like it here. David James Homes is more than a builder of quality, affordable homes. And David James Homes offers a vast variety of home design choices. From simple ranches and bungalows to complex, multi-level estate homes. Yet even when working with a David James design, you still have a wide array of choices and options. We pride ourselves in providing our clients with the utmost customer service. When we combine our designs and our choices, it's obvious why we can say, we build every home like it's my home. My home. My home. It's Hamrick's 
Classic Sales Event. Ladies Store Brand Knits, just $6.49. Ladies Active Apparel, only $8.88. Ladies Famous Maker Denim, also $8.88. Modern Fashion Tops and Dresses, just $15. Pet Beds, $10. Copper Infused Knit Bed Pillows, just $9.88. And Lounge Pants for the entire family, only $4.49. Hamrick's Epic Sales Event. Brand names at unbelievable prices. Another pair of satisfied emotions. Looks to me like elation and maybe some amazement. It's part of the Honda Summer Spectacular Event Experience. You could say satisfaction comes standard here, just like the Honda Accord comes standard with a luxurious roomy interior. <laughs> all at the Honda Summer Spectacular Event. We see it all the time. Visit your local Honda dealer and test drive the Honda Accord, 2018's North American Car of the Year. Your Papa John's believes in better. You won't find MSG, BHA, BHT, or partially hydrogenated oil in our pizza. We make it better because you deserve better. Your Papa John's, proudly serving Central and Southwest Virginia since 1992. The only app you need for weather, the WSLS Storm Team 10 app. 10 News is making a move. Uh, the planning has been in the works for months, and today we broke ground on our new building, a new television station. Graham Media CEO Emily Barr dropped by to help celebrate the start of construction on what will soon be a state-of-the-art TV station. Right now, of course, it's just a shell, and our contractor, Lionberger Construction, is waiting on the building permits, but says he's hopeful to be able to start next week. And we're hoping that all the changes will be done so that we can make our official move in March. Here's a sneak peek of the stories that will be making headlines tonight and tomorrow. I'm Shane Dwyer. Tonight we're in Benton with a new marketing campaign to promote the breweries and distilleries and wineries in the Roanoke Valley. It's called the Cheers Trail and it ties all of them together to help make it easier for you to find them and help attract tourists to the area. Best of all, you can get all sorts of great discounts by downloading the app on your phone. I'll have the details coming up tonight at 11 right here on WSLS 10. Kids experimenting with drugs. Back to school is a dangerous time for them. What you need to look for. Plus, treating anxiety. The three things you can do at home to help. Plan your day with Virginia today, Friday morning from 5 to 7, right here on 10 News, working for you. If you need a roof, we've got you covered. VentonRoofing.com Two Can Dine for 99 is back at Frankie Rollins Steakhouse. This Friday and Saturday, get two three-course meals done only the way Frankie's knows how. Salad, entree, sides, and dessert. You've been invited to Frankie Rollins Steakhouse, where two can dine for 99. This is Dr. Gunter Zuloff. Did he solve Carmichael's totient conjecture? Yes. Yes, he did. But did he buy his car at drive time using the industry's smartest online tools? No, no, he did not. Dr. Gunter Zuloff was almost a genius. Get fast online financing and know your down payment. Shop over 15,000 vehicles at drivetime.com, the genius way to buy a car. Fact, 98% of people love to sit, 99% love to sleep, and 100% love to save money. We've combined all three into one amazing event. It's Grant's Sit, Sleep, and Save. If you can sit on it or sleep on it, you can save on it. Save up to 65% store-wide, from sofas to sectionals, from mattresses to bedroom sets. Save even more with two years no interest. So if you can sit on it or sleep on it, or both, you can save on it. Now at Grand. Now, get a free Samsung Galaxy S9 with no trade-in required at U.S. Cellular. Go with another carrier, and you'll get taken by hidden fees. Monthly connection charge? What? Don't get taken. Ah! At U.S. Cellular, get a free Samsung Galaxy S9, no trade-in required, and no hidden fees. Plus national coverage in the middle of anywhere. Look at where we are. Think of what we can do. What we're building together is special. And at Appalachian Power Company, we know it's only the beginning. We can do more to improve our communities, our lives, to continue creating and providing power to all who need it. Like these mountains, 
our people here stand tall no matter what the odds. Working together, we have the boundless energy to reach new heights. Welcome. So what do you look for in a vehicle? Dependability is top on my list. Well, then here's some vehicles that deliver on that. That's our truck. There are cars. Chevy's the only brand to have earned J.D. Power Dependability Awards across cars, trucks, and SUVs three years in a row. Get 15% below MSRP on most Chevy Equinox models when you finance with GM Financial. That's over $5,600 on this Equinox. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Two Can Dine for 99 is back at Frankie Rollins Steakhouse. This Friday and Saturday, get two three-course meals done only the way Frankie's knows how. Salad, entree, sides, and dessert. You've been invited to Frankie Rollins Steakhouse, where Two Can Dine for 99 After a brief break from the humidity today, it is back in a big way. Dew points wound up getting to 70, which is basically air you can wear. It means there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. Guys, that's already happened 40 days this year. The average is to have 32 days in which the dew point gets into the 70s. So it has been exceptionally humid this summer, also exceptionally wet. Now, as we look at satellite and radar, most of us are dry. There's one little downpour around Elk Creek that's moving towards Highway 94 in Grayson County. Other than that, things are going to stay fairly dry, fairly uneventful tonight, but very muggy. Temperatures dropping into the upper 60s and low 70s because of that elevated humidity. So things are going to feel muggy at the bus stop tomorrow as you're heading into work in the morning, and that's a sign of things to come by the afternoon. Storm Prediction Center has us in what's called a marginal risk for severe weather, basically a level one out of five, indicating that severe storms would be isolated. But where they do form, they could pack a punch with a P to quarter size hail being possible. Isolated wind damage can't be ruled out. The threat for tornadoes is very low just because there's not a lot of spin going on tomorrow. So we start things out dry with a little bit of sunshine, and then as we go into the afternoon, we'll see a gradual increase in clouds. Those clouds bubbling up, allowing some showers and thunderstorms to form. So here we are with Future Tracker at 2 o'clock, and you can see that things are spotty at first. Later in the afternoon, this is 4 o'clock, you start to see these showers and thunderstorms moving from west to east. So I think tomorrow is a day where not everybody gets wet, but where you do get wet again, these storms could pack a punch. Otherwise, I think we stay dry long enough for temperatures to get into the upper 80s and low 90s in Lynchburg, Southside, Roanoke, Middle 80s in the NRV, the Highlands keeping it cool in the 70s. Fast forward to this weekend, you're seeing temperatures in the mid 80s, pretty typical for this time of year. I think Saturday is the wetter day. We start out dry in the morning and then we see scattered showers and thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. By Sunday and Monday, our chance for storms is going to really depend on where this front lines up. Then by Tuesday, we see again the chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms by the afternoon, the higher severe threat being towards our north. We wait until mid to late next week for that front to pass to the east, and finally some drier air coming in, some cooler air actually coming in by the middle to later part of next weekend. OK, so the seven day forecast looking like this temperatures in the low to mid 80s after tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think we get close to 90 this weekend, low to mid 80s with the chance for showers and thunderstorms. Probably better on Saturday. Don't cancel your plans just yet, but have a plan B as you're making your way through the weekend. Temperatures otherwise in the low to mid 80s for much of next week with the chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms lasting through Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. That's a check of your Storm Team 10 forecast. We'll be right back in just about two minutes. Summer's funniest comedy ah! is all law. This is a courthouse, not a clubhouse. And no order. All right. Trial and error tonight on NBC. I thought you were your mother. What? You remind me of her sometimes, just in how you look and sound and act and where you carry your weight. Attention, Southern Virginia. Johnson Family Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram recently opened in Floyd with a challenge issued to bring volume selling to Southern Virginia. Over 100 new Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, and Rams have been shipped in to set sales pace to earn allocations. These vehicles must be sold. In order to increase used vehicle inventory, unprecedented values will be put on all trades. Your trade may never be worth more. Take advantage of the savings at Johnson Family Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Floyd. And of course, we promise you're going to like it here. Real people, 
steal people. They want real power, real options, and real value. This fall, get a real solution. Get a steal. Is this the world's best sandwich? Nope. Lance's real peanut butter between two toasted crackers is the best. Pick up some tasty sandwich crackers from Lance. Next time on Daytime, it's Food Truck Friday. This time we welcome Hanu Truck. Yeah, and we're talking to the Lynchburg Humane Society about Clear the Shelters. Make time for Daytime at 11 a.m. on WSLS 10. Okay, we're going to talk about cars today. If you were going to design your perfect car, which three features would you choose? Safety with the kids. Fuel efficiency. Affordable price. My dream car would have all of these things. What if I told you that there was a car that did have everything? Seriously? Okay. <laughs> this is the Chevy Cruze. Go Chevy. Current qualified GM lessees can get $3,750 total cash allowance on most Cruze and Malibu models when you purchase. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Freedom First, where people bank for good. Freedomfirst.com. It was a civil rights uh, mantra. Everybody wants respect. Who doesn't want respect? The now late Queen of Soul on her world famous Grammy winning hit Respect. The world now in mourning for the R&B singer who took on more than just the world of music. Aretha Franklin died this morning of pancreatic cancer at 76. She was at her home in Detroit surrounded by family and friends. Throughout the day, from politicians to musicians to fans of all kinds, they've all been honoring the star's legacy and career, including one of the most iconic show houses in the world. You can see how New York's Apollo Theater changed its marquee in honor of Franklin. After Franklin's passing, the Apollo tweeted, quote, rest in peace to our queen of soul, Apollo legend Aretha Franklin. And Aretha Franklin made herself a household name in music, but was also a star driving force for civil rights, community, and love. She received the highest civilian award in the country, the Presidential Medal of Honor. She was presented the honor by then-President George W. Bush in 2005. She also has a Kennedy Center honor and was the first woman ever inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1987. Hundreds of fans began placing flowers and other mementos on Aretha Franklin's Hollywood Walk of Fame star, including a memorial wreath. Franklin received her star number 1,711 nearly 30 years ago on August 29, 1979. Here's what you could expect to see tonight in prime time starting at 8. It's Ellen's Game of Games. After that, it's back-to-back -back episodes of Trial and Error at 9 and 9.30, followed by Law and Order SVU at 10. Then at 11, a warning for those about to tie the knot, why wedding crashers could be there for more than just the fun. Thanks for joining us for 10 News at 7. Have a great night. Ten News Virginia Today, working for you, weekday mornings from 5 to 7. The American Classic, a quarter pound double cheeseburger or chili cheese coney and tots for just $2.99. Mm -mm -mm. America, hurry in for the $2.99 American Classic. This is how you sonic. Now there's one place you can go to do all your shopping for your next car, truck, or RV. It's johnsoncars.com. Whether it's a new Chevrolet, a new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram, a pre-owned, or that RV you've always wanted, just go to johnsoncars.com. With johnsoncars.com, you're just a few clicks away from hundreds of vehicles. They're priced right and sold in the no-hassle, no-process fee Johnson tradition. I'm Jeff Johnson, and I promise you're going to like it here.
Hunters, target shooters, collectors. The Roanoke Valley Gun Show returns to the Berglund Center, formerly the Roanoke Civic Center. This weekend, it's your one-stop gun shop with discount gun show prices on everything you need for the shooting sports and self-defense. Conceal carry classes both days. Buy, sell, and trade Saturday 9 to 5, Sunday 10 to 5. The Roanoke Valley Gun Show at the Berglund Center this weekend. More info and dollar off admission coupon at showmastersgunshows.com. My dad ran an ironworking shop. I learned hard work and a trade from him and his workers. Then I went to Honduras as a missionary and taught kids to be carpenters and welders. Our economy works best when everyone has a skill, like shipbuilding. That's why I created career and technical academies across Virginia and passed a law to expand job training for young people. I'm Tim Kaine and I approve this message. Here in Virginia, we have to build an economy that works for all. Hey, Marcus here to tell you that Gander Outdoors is having its biggest outdoor and RV super show of the year. Warehouse pricing on fishing, boating, hunting, shooting sports, biking, hiking, camping, plus RVs starting as low as $119 a month. With millions in inventory, all at warehouse pricing, we won't be undersold, and I guarantee it. Look for the giant American flag and celebrate our freedom and great savings at Gander Outdoors in Roanoke. I relate to the berries in these real fruit berry shakes because they're small but powerful. I relate to the ice cream because it's rich and has an amazing singing voice. Got it. Oh. No. Real ice cream and berries. New real fruit berry shakes. Get them half price after 8 p.m. for a limited time. The case shocking America. I just want them back. The husband accused of killing his pregnant wife and daughters. Mommy has a baby. The family home videos. Are you guys excited? Yeah, yeah. Then, arrest Amarosa? What she's just telling Inside Edition after reports the president wants her busted. And is this the deadliest waterfall in America? People getting too close to the falls, trying to get in that perfect position to take a selfie. Plus, too gross for TV? It's the most stupid act we've ever had what these five dudes did to get booted off national television. And the Queen of Soul. Her final hours. Now, Inside Edition with Deborah Norville. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Diane McInerney and today for Deborah Norval. It's a shocking confession. This father and husband reportedly admits he killed his pregnant wife and their two daughters. When his family first vanished, Chris Watts made an emotional public plea for their safe return. Now in a stunning turn of events, he's under arrest. The father, accused of slaughtering his pregnant wife and two daughters, has revealed to police where he dumped their bodies. 34-year-old Shanann Watts and her daughters Celeste, 3, and Bella, 4, were reported missing four days ago. Today, 33-year-old Chris Watts reportedly confessed, I killed them all. We have been able to recover uh, a uh, body that we're quite certain is uh, Shanann Watts' body. Uh, we have uh, strong reason to believe that we know where the bodies of the children are. Home videos show what seemed to be a loving and happy all-American family. He was the one for me, and he is amazing. And I can't tell you how wonderful he is. Shanann talked about how she met her husband when he friended her on Facebook. One thing led to another, and eight years later, we have two kids, we live in Colorado, and he's the best thing that has ever happened to me. But the couple had serious him. money troubles. Court papers obtained by Inside Edition show they declared bankruptcy in 2015 with $449,000 in debts and just $864 in the bank. Shanann documented her life on social media. In this now haunting video, she broke the news to her girls that she was pregnant. Guess what, girls? Mommy has a baby in her belly. Are you guys excited? The children danced for joy. Now watch her husband's subdued reaction when he was shown the pregnancy test. That's awesome. Guess I Guess, guess when you want to, it happens. When Shanann and the children were reported missing, Watts made this appeal for their safe return. If somebody has her, just please bring her back. 
I need to see everybody. I need to see everybody again. This house is not complete with without anybody here. But the appeal had a hollow ring. He was asked if he had fought with his wife, who was 15 weeks pregnant. It wasn't like an argument. We had an emotional conversation, but I'll leave it at that. But it's, I just want them back. Gene West is a former FBI behavioral science expert. When he realizes what he's done, that his story is unraveling. And, and that's probably his main 